around him had great difficulties with that approach. But along the way, he has persuaded us, and we are now aligned that reconciliation is the way to go for the betterment of this country. The president has exercised magnanimity in victory. Against the expectations of many people who witnessed the persecution that he was subjected to, the harassment, the intimidation, had expected him to go hammer and tongs for his tormentors and persecutors. He shocked all of us when he insisted that he is a Christian. And the Bible has taught him that forgiveness is a calling from God. And he decided to lead this country by giving leadership in forgiveness and matters in consideration. His first appointment on, a set, on being sworn in as president, he shocked all of us. His first appointment was to a man who had made it difficult for him to rise to the presidency. But he was forgiving, he was magnanimous, and that was it. Many people would have expected by now that all those who stood in his path to leadership would be dealt with the way his people are being dealt with being arrested, taken to court, being harassed by KRA, but the president decided in accordance with the teachings of the Bible that we need to reconcile this nation. And that is why we have a peaceful country and Your Excellency, we want to thank you for carrying us along. One example it is, it is, may look small, but it was very inspiring to those of us who work with the president. 